But first, I'm here in the Price Chopper kitchen with Julie Flanagan of Outrageous Creative Studio. We're going to show you how to create art using an open flame and some copper. Absolutely. It's going to be a great time. What's this called that we're about to do? Is there a name for it? There just isn't. Copper um, and flames. Copper. I call it copper art. Okay. <laughs> it's outrageous. Um, we're, here's some examples of what we might be So what that can would be, be the be finished done. product? Yeah. And these are, you can either engrave and draw on the copper before you flame it, mm -hmm. or you can do it afterwards. That looks really pretty, like something you would buy. Somewhere. Is, and people think that it is. But you made, just those, so you made all those? It's very easy. We just use household tools and a flame. Instead of using a paintbrush, we're using the flame of a candle. And instead of a canvas, we're using a piece of copper from a craft store that you can buy by the roll for $13. I'm going to hold that up oh, sure. for a chance. So what you went to Hobby Lobby, but you can get this at any craft store? Yeah, Hobby just Lobby a, has the longest rolls. OK, there, <laughs> there you, you go. go. <laughs> and you can, you can get this at any craft store, just create with metal. Uh huh. And it cuts sheets. with the scissors. Perfect. And this is a, a five gauge copper, which is the best. They come in different gauges, but you can experiment. It's all good. But go with the five gauge and the, the long five. roll. Sure. Because Julie <laughs> says so. Yes. Now what? All right. So it takes a few minutes. What we're going to do is just do an abstract painting with the flame of the candle. And since it's copper, it conducts heat. So let's place our copper over the flame. You want to put it at the top of the actual flame. But not too close. And it'll maybe snuff in the middle, out. but you do not want to get too close to the okay. candle. And that's because it needs oxygen to burn, and we don't want to cut off the oxygen by pressing it down too hard. Um, How do it, I know what my design's going to look like if I can't? Well, it happens there and kind see of it. slow. Hopefully, we can, you can see this. Oh, so I'll start to see it? You'll see it. I'm starting to see the colors beginning to change from this pink color to kind of an orange color. I am seeing. Are that. you seeing that? Yeah, I'm going to tilt oh, it and towards. Now, oh, very good. And now on mine, mine. Yep, I see it. Either it's starting to turn blue, and then magenta, and then yellow, and then orange, and then pink. It's like so cool. It's just yeah. like a magic thing. And what's happening is the copper is oxidizing. Is on the back, to... there'll be some black oxide. Is mine supposed to be smoking? It's is it Well, okay? that just means you're too close to the oh, candle. Okay. No big deal. Right. <laughs> no big deal. No, it's really no big deal. It just goes out. That's all. <laughs> this is probably very safe. And as, as it happens slowly enough that you can actually move the copper around and actually stroke the flame to create lines and abstract blobs, stuff like that. Now, um, is the art part going to be underneath it, though? Like, no, this which is side the is going to be? Thank so, you. the side facing me is going to be it's the side. It's going to that, be. Um, the okay. back will have oxide on it, and we'll wipe that off. And sometimes okay, so the back yeah. turns out really cool, and you'd go with the back. So, it just, you have to keep an open mind. If you want it to be a slower, brush stroke, you can raise it higher from the flame and it happens way like slower this. and you can um, control it more. Edges? You can get these blends that go from blue, these rainbow, if you will, colors. They can spread out wider if you get higher from the flame. It's the funnest therapy you could ever want. I was just going to say, if it's you are an adventurous parent and you you, there needs to be a parent in the room if your kids are going to do this. <laughs> yeah. Right? I mean, just, but well, do, it's you, just, do your own parenting, it's but just I would like suggest eye having candy a is what it is. Yeah, this is really neat. So you just, so you just candle keep and a doing that. Sheet. And I like to go off the edges because then that gives it an abstract look. These are going to become abstract pictures. And after we're done here, we might go in with pencils, blunt, blunt pencils or the back ends of paintbrushes, and lay them on some cushion like a piece of felt and draw on them. So would, would this be good enough for me to do the next step, or would you suggest you I could. keep sizzling? It's up to you. You're the artist. Away. You get to decide. I love how yours you have a lot more pink than me i love how yours is turning out and i don't really even know what i'm doing it's better it's to use a stick candle than a wide candle because the wide candles the flame sinks down into the candle and then you have the wax ridges kind of interfering yeah, so you you're best to go with these these uh upright pole type candles. not like a yankee scented candle so, but the the oxidation is happening at different at different it's oxidizing at different temperatures based on how far away from the flame it is. And that's why we get mine. these lovely rainbow colors happening. Now, let me ask you this. I'm going to okay. stop with mine for mm -hmm. one second. We'll lay them down on the hot pad if we this. want. Yeah, I can put it on the hot pad. The things that you have, that looks really cool. The things you have right in front of me, what did you do to these? Or is this our next our This next is our next you? segment. Ah, but okay. what we'll so, want to do first is turn these over, yeah. get our paper towel, and wipe off the black oxide. 
And honestly, you can look at this oh, and wow. evaluate it and say, ooh, I like this better. You know, it's, yeah, it's just I fun. Like this. And sometimes That's we wrinkle the way. copper first and lay it over the flame wrinkled. And then when we spread it out, the, the flame and temperatures go down along oh. the creases and gives you this geometric so you sort of do, burnt I, effect. Okay, so okay. Gonna, go to it. So if you were going to wrinkle it, you just wrinkle it up wrinkle in a wad it in and then do this. Mm -hmm. You can I also draw on the copper first and then actually paint inside the lines of your drawing, this which is, is really fun too. <laughs> well, we're going to take this to the next level because in our next segment with you, a little bit later, you're going to show us how to etch or engrave the copper. Yes. Which will be really cool. And if we can make something like this, and it something like hard, those in the but frames, but it's really, really easy. No, you, you're so Anybody good at this Anybody can do it. <laughs> this is going to be great, Julie. Thank you, and no, stick around. It was my pleasure. We've got more stuff from Julie. Speaking 